All right, guys, how are you doing? So this is a, obviously another video, another Blu-ray up there, and there is a lot of Blu-rays here. Let me just go. There's a lot of Blu-rays. Um, so yeah, I've gone all out for Blu-rays this past week or so. Um, that's what I can say. Um, so yeah, let's just get into it. Let's just get into it. So this one I got for a quid. I, I shit you not, Poundland. Wow, well, my hair needs a cut already. Um, and it's Haywire. I have no idea what this film's about. Uh, all I saw, it has Michael Fassbender in it, so I wanted to get it, obviously, mainly just for that reason. But the other reason, really, it's a quid, so I was like, yeah, let's go it. And, and I, I did read up online, and uh, it's, got a, it's got a few decent reviews for it, to be fair. So, yeah, I'll probably end up giving that a watch. Second one, three quid. And all of these from here... Are from the no no apart from one is from CEX uh, which I'm glad to have. I always like going there because you know they have amazing amazing prices for a lot of their Blu-rays. So yeah, start with this Unbreakable. Uh, this is the M Night Shalam Sham Lam 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 film. This is one of his good ones apparently. I do like the Sixth Sense. I haven't seen this, but I heard this is like one of his really underrated films. Um, because as you know, he did, um, The Last Airbender, which I cannot fucking stand, I hope that thing never gets brought up again somehow. Um, but yeah, I, I got it, you know, three quid, I was like, why not? Ah, alright, so we get four films here, so we get the, we get Paranormal, Paranormal Activity, um, I heard this is the first one's a, one of the good ones, so I decided to get this because it was like 50p, I was like, fuck yeah! That's the only reason why I got it, because it was 50p. Um, but yeah, that's one of the only reasons I got it. Um, but if it's good, I'll be happy. If it's not, then I don't really care, because, again, 50p, what are you going to do? You can't beat a price like that on a Blu-ray. Uh, Paranormal Activity 2, this is a triple player. I'm going to change the cases for a few of these, because a lot of them are like... They, they look really disgusting, so I probably need to either clean these or just change them around because like they're ripped or something. But yeah, Paranormal Activity 2. I'm going to get the, probably the prices mixed up for these ones, but this one was, I think, 250 I think. So I think this is one of the other good ones, maybe, I think. But yeah, I was like, again, why not? Another triple player, Paranormal Activity 3. I, I, haven't really, I don't really know much about this one, but it's got the, one of the nice cases, which I'm happy about. Um, this one costs 150 I think, somehow. Number two costs 250 I think. This one costs 150 That makes no sense. I'd just like to point out those discs. I hate those discs. They'll scratch to hell, but I'll probably get my use out of them. Uh, Paranormal Activity 4. I have not heard good things about this one, to be fair. I think this is one of the shitty ones. I mean, the only reason they kept making these, I think, is because, like, they were cheap as fuck to make, and they were making money. So, I mean, you can't really, you can't really blame them, to be fair. Next one. This is actually a stand-up show, but, you know, Paddy McGuinness, Saturday Night Live. Um, <laughs> don't know why I got this. Again, a quid. A quid from Poundland, because I got it with Haywire, because um, it was after college, and I just went around a few shops because I was going home, because I was going out on the night. So I thought, why not, you know, <laughs> why not, just grab this. And it is a double play, because it comes with the DVD as well. So yeah, a quid for that, I was like, whatever. Uh, next one, Scary Movie 4. So happy to finally get this, because, like, it, it took, I've got the box set of the first three, and I've got number five, which I don't like whatsoever, but this one, I think it's better than number three a little bit in a way, but I'm glad to have actually got this, and I can finally complete that trilogy. What makes me laugh, though, is the, uh, Walt Disney. Walt Disney on the discs for one of these films, but hey. Uh, um, I think this cost me three quid, so I was like, yeah, why not? Go for it. Just go for it. Ooh, finally. As you can see, Fantastic Four, the 2005 version. I've already got Rise of the Silver Surfer. This only cost me £2.50, so I was like, why not? Oh, you yeah, had noise. Sorry. Um, <laughs> one minute, guys. Sorry. Right. But yeah, um, I'm glad to get this because I finally have the this one, Rise of Silver Surfer and Fantastic. Even though I can't stand most of the, those films, both all three of them. Alright, next one, so we get into the slip covers. Paper Towns. This is from um, John Green, who wrote, who was a, I think he's a part of the Vlog Brothers or something, but he also uh, wrote 
the Fault in Our Stars. Um, yeah, I was happy to get this. It came with a slip cover because ones that I've seen, they didn't actually have slip covers, and that was the only reason I'm getting it. Plus, uh, Cara Delevingne, very, very, very beautiful. Um, next one, Interstellar, Chris Nolan film. I had to pick it up because I love Chris Nolan. You know, he's made some of my favourite films of all time, the Batman, uh, the Dark Knight trilogy. Um, but I've never seen this, and again, like Paper Towns, I was only going to get it if I could find a slipcover, and I found a slipcover. Six quid, but you like, I was like, whatever, I really want it, so I'm getting it. Ah, finally complete this uh, lot of films. Mockingjay Part 2. Um, I have all of them, and they all come with slipcovers. I'm so happy that they released them all with slipcovers, because I'd, I'd, I'd hate if... The first one, Catching Fire, had slipcovers. Part one didn't, and part two did. That'd drive my, that drive me insane. But yeah, I'm so, I'm glad to have that. It's a nice slipcover as well. It's nice. Ne uh, the Chronicles of Narnia, Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. I don't care. I watched this film when I was little. I love this movie, and yeah, I need to get the other ones. I think they're doing the, sil I think it's the silver chair that they're doing next, but I don't know whether they're gonna, when they're going to do it. But yeah, I think this this wasn't from CX. This is from a, a game shop called Granger Games, um, and it was like four quid. But I was like, screw it, and the big one. So in one of my other videos, I showed that I managed to get uh, the Pacific on this like big uh, metal box, like metal tin set, and I found a Band of Brothers. I'm so happy to find this. Um, same price, uh, tenner. So I got ten of for both. It's just the same on the inside. So you know you got like what the discs and who directed them, blah blah blah. Let me just get this out because I actually haven't been inside. To see what they look like. This is really nice. Just such amazing design for these. So yeah, you just hold hold it out. And you get some art around there, and again and again. And yeah, you just get all the oh Christ, you get all the discs in there. It's just an amazing box set. And I'm really proud to have it. <clears throat> okay. So yeah, that's all the Blu-rays I have, guys. Um, wow. I thought this would like last like 20 minutes or something. Uh, yeah, 20 minutes or something. But we've not even gone up to 10 minutes yet, which I'm happy about. And my internet connection would be very happy to hear that. Um, but yeah, those are all the Blu-rays, guys. If you enjoyed this video, you can hit like and subscribe. And yeah. Got a week off next week, so I may record some videos. Oh no, I have a spot coming. Oh well. Um, so yeah, I may record some more videos next week because I have a week off. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, hit like, subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.